Welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is Acts chapter 21, verse 40. God's Word says this, And when He had given Him permission, Paul, standing on the steps, motioned with his hands to the people. And when there was a great hush, he addressed them in Hebrew, saying, This passage picks us back up into the story in which Paul is on his way to Rome, that he has been caught up in a riot, Um, he has been arrested, and now he is begging for the opportunity to speak to the Jewish people. Now, we all have, we're not going to get into exactly the content of what Paul said, but I think it's important for us to note that Paul is in a horrible circumstance, that he is facing opposition, that there is a true obstacle in the way of him completing his journey as he has been arrested. And Paul is begging for the opportunity to speak. I think it's important to note here that Paul's desire to speak is not out of self-preservation, but Paul's desire to speak is out of his continued deep conviction to preach the gospel, that he is leveraging this opposition, that he's leveraging this terrible circumstance, not for his own safety, but for the elevation of Jesus' name. And so this text challenges the mess out of me today as I'm thinking about the circumstances and the challenges that I face that may be brought on by my own decisions, not not even just being obedient to God, and that they are in fact opportunities, that, that the obstacle is the way in which we can share the good news. So may today we fight not for self-preservation, but in fact gospel proclamation. Let, let's pray now. Our Father, we pray um, through the name of your Son, by the power of your spirit, God. We thank you for your word and pray today that this scripture, God, would change us into the likeness of Jesus. Father, I pray that we would not seek to use our challenging situations, God, and and, and, and retreat toward self-preservation, but we would continue to use them as opportunities to share the gospel, to share the good news of how Jesus has changed everything. Lord, we pray for courage to do this. We know we cannot do it on our own. We pray this now in the name of Jesus, by the power of the spirit. Amen. Amen.